let us continue with our lesson and today let's go and learn about the inheritance in Kotlin so let's jump into our Android studio and let us get started so first of all let's go over here and create a new activity and I'll just go to activity and I'll create an empty activity and let us call this one as a Yamaha so YA so YA Yamaha right so Yamaha is our bike or a motorbike so a motorcycle you can call it so let's click on finished so we have one Yamaha activity over here and if you notice over here this is we cannot inherit a car because car is a car and a Yamaha cannot be a car right so if Toyota, Toyota is a car, right? Toyota is a car as well as a Ford is a car. But Yamaha, Yamaha is not a car, it's a motorbike or a motorcycle. So let's create a one class over here. And uh, let's call it as a bike. And uh, so let's go over here and let me copy the constructor and everything from here because if you go to the yamaha uh, sorry the bike over here and let's paste it over here and uh, if you notice that it has a bike uh, bike can have a color can have an engine number also has a cc and it can also has the info it can also drive and it can also give a break but one thing we have a different over here uh bike let's say our uh, Function, and we can say as a two wheel. So bike has a two wheel, and uh, but if we go to the car, and let's create a new function over here, and function will have a four wheel, and uh, let's create a printout. So we are in the ln, and I just call it as a just call it as a four wheel and uh, let's do the same thing or uh, let us print out the same thing for our motorbike over here and just call it as a two wheel so if you notice over here what's the difference is only we have one function different that is a two wheel and a car has a four wheel and rest of the things that we have is the duplicate so car also has the it also has info drive and a uh, give brake so these are all of the behavior of the car and if you go to the bike the behavior of the bike it is as info it has it has a drive it can has a brake and it also has a wheel so only different is the wheel so two wheel and a four wheel so how to make this code more uh usable so how do how we can make it more reusable of our code so as a good programmer we always have to keep in mind that how to make our code uh reusable so we can use it in a later state as well not only in our current class right so as to become a good programmer we need to learn all of this so let us create a new class over here and uh, i will just make it as and let's call it let us call it as a vi H, uh, sorry, it's not VI, so it should be VEHIC of the vehicle. And we have a class of a vehicle. And what we'll do now is we'll just copy all of this. So let me copy from the function. Let me cut this one and just paste it to our vehicle class over here. And uh, now let me just comment this uh, init method so i don't need it for now okay so let me comment all of this for now and let's uh, remove the constructor from here so let us remove the constructor from our car and we only have one method which is a four wheel and let's go to the bike and let us remove the constructor from here and let us also comment this one too so let's just comment this one too and uh, let's go to this function let us remove this we don't need it so let's remove this one and it has implemented one function which is two wheel and our car has a four wheel 
So we have one, we have created a, sorry, let's go to a vehicle. So we have this vehicle class and it has a drive and give brake. So let us create a properties for us. So let's say a well and I can call it as a color colors. And that's of a string data type, which is of a empty for now. And let's create a, another variable or property of an engine number. So let's copy this one, paste it over here, and we can call it this one as a int data type. So it's of a zero by default. And uh, we have another one which is of CC. Let's copy this and let's say well CC is of a string data type, and we can set it as default as a empty string so we have a three variable so let's okay so i think that should be fine so we have a three property over here color and engine number and system and for info i think what i should do over here is let me remove this function i think we don't need it or once we can just keep it as over here and uh so we have this vehicle class, right? And we have a car as well as a bike over here. So how do we inherit this vehicle class? So we need to inherit vehicle to our class as well as a bike in order to get access to info, drive, and brake functionality. So it has property now, and as well as it has a functionality like it has a behavior, so it has property and a behavior. So how to make use of that is we can inherit it. So we can inherit our vehicle class, PEHI vehicle class, and uh, let's have a constructor and just copy this one and let's do the same thing for our bike. And let us inherit from a vehicle class. And if you notice, we have some error over here with red line that says that this is this type is a final, so it cannot be inherited. So what we have learned previously, if you if you remember that when we are taking our classes on our classes and Kotlin classes, at that time I mentioned that classes are by default final. So by default it is a final. So apply and later. So by default it is final. So if you see over here, it's a redundant modifier, which means that by default a class is final. So if the class is final, then we cannot inherit. So if you want to inherit, then we have to make use this class as another open. So we can make use of keyword as an open, which means that now it can be inherited by a, another class. So now if the error is gone, and you can see that we have inherited from a vehicle, as well as this car class has inherited from a vehicle. So now there is a relationship between a car and a vehicle. So what do you think that car is a vehicle? Is it correct? Yes, that car is a vehicle. And there is a relationship now, it's our relationship. A car is a vehicle. As well as, if you say notice over here, by, by each a vehicle. That, is that correct? Yes, absolutely correct. By each a vehicle. And a car is a vehicle. So that's why we have inherited from a vehicle class. So we have implemented our properties as well as a behavior over here. And we have inherited the vehicle class, which means that whenever we inherited from our super class or parent class, then we have access to all of this. So the child class, which is a bike as well as a car, will have access to all of these properties as well as a behavior. So that may be a bit confusing for you now. So let's go and see how to make use of it. So let's say we go to our, let's go to, uh, we have created one class over here, right? So I think somewhere here, Yamaha. So now let's create, a, let me create a variable of this one. Say as a val is Yamaha, okay, let's see, uh, Yamaha activity, or just let's call it as a Yamaha. And uh, what are these equals to? Now, it needs to create an object from a bike. 
and now we have a new object from a bike which is of Yamaha and now if you go over here by YHA, by Yamaha, Yamaha dot now we have access to two wheel right and uh, if you go down we will have access to this method too so info drive and brake so let's make use of that one sorry let's go over here and let's copy this one and let's say that we have uh, info we can access info and if you go over here we can access uh that is a drive and we also have another method which is of a keep break so let's go over to this activity and keep break so if you notice over here we have access to all of this method but if you see in the bike we have only created one function which is a two wheel but if you see take a look on a yamaha activity we have access to info we have access to drive where all of these are coming from so these are coming from our super class or a parent class which is of a vehicle so here we can say that this is a this is a parent class or a, we can also call it as a super class and the bike over here you can call it as this is a child class or we can also call it as sub class and similarly if you copy this one and we can just say as a car so car is a child class or a sub class of a vehicle class and also a bike is a child class or a sub class of a vehicle class so vehicle is a parent for bike as well as a car and we have each other relationship so car is a vehicle and bike is a vehicle so which means that there is a relationship and that relationship we can call it as a child and parent or a parent and child relationship so a vehicle is a parent class and our child class is a bike as well as a car so which class is inheriting from a parent class that is become a child class and the class that we are inheriting is always a parent class so whenever we have whenever we are inheriting from a parent class then we have access to all of this method as well as the properties so we can set over here let's go to our yamaha activity and uh, before we can make use of info we need to set the value for our properties the color is uh, let's say equals to uh, yellow and uh, why it's saying that val cannot be reset so why we cannot create a val over here is because we need to make it as a val so let's make it val so let's say val so now we can assign it and uh, yamaha dot uh, we have an engine number and let's give a value a random value and yamaha dot we also have a color engine as well as a cc and cc is of a string data type so let's say uh, 250 cc so if we run this class then we should get print up all of this and why not we call copy all of this and let's go to our fraud activity over here and let us remove all of this just paste this one and now instead of a bike we need to let's create an object of a fraud over here and uh, let me copy all of this and just paste it over here and instead of bike now what we have to insert this is a fraud fraud is a car so we need to inherit it from a car and a car doesn't has a two wheel it has a four wheel and uh, if you run this class now and let's go to let's wait for the gradle build to finish so let's go to the 
run over here and let's check for the printout so we have print out a four wheel yellow and whatever we pass the cc and i'm driving and i'm afraid so if you notice over here that what we did is we have now a parent as well as a child class and whatever functionality that it was previously we were implementing in a car as well as a bike so now we have implemented in our vehicle so this is our super class right and sorry for the spelling mistake so it should be class cl cl ass class and the thing over here we have separated the code like we have put a different logic over here we have made uh, our code reusable and now if you create another class let's say a uh, yamaha or you create uh, another class let's say uh, another activity of a uh, duke or whatever you create another activity we can access all of this and the bike it has only a few method of only one method over here and it's all of the rest is implemented in a super class so that's the reusable thing that we can do and it has also made our code reusable as well as a readable code and it's quite easy to maintain all of this kind of uh, programming where we can uh, make use of inheritance like inheriting from a super class so that's a good thing that we have learned ever about all of these inheritance in this lecture and i hope you guys got a bit confused over here and uh, that's uh, quite obvious in the first lesson if you go and practice this one continuously maybe you can go and watch this video two or three times and just get uh, practice it in your own and then it will make sense and uh, we'll be using a lot of all of this when we actually try to go and build some of the great application and a great programmer as a uh, good programmer we should have all of this knowledge about the inheritance and how to extend uh, or inherit it from another super class so uh, that was a quite this was a quite long lesson and i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let's meet up on the next lecture and till then have a great day